All right. So now let's um, continue if you don't mind, unless you guys have any last minute questions. Um, all right, so I guess the next thing I'd like to do actually is um, make the, get rid of the orange box. We don't need that anymore. We were just using that as a guideline, kind of like an artist with the paper, with the, the um, with the pencil. We're going to erase our pencil marks now. So we're going to delete that orange background because we don't need that anymore. So, all right. There we go. Now we just have an envelope. All right. So our next step here now is to add some JavaScript. Let's see, where's my, here we go. We created shapes. We add CSS. All right. So we're not going to see the effect of this code until later on, but uh, let's just do it now. We're just going to create um, a function that doesn't do anything right now, but we're just going to create a placeholder. And then we're going to add this attribute inside of the button element so that when you click it, the button, it will call that function. Okay. So let's just start here under the style. Let's put script. You don't need to put the script module this time. Um, and just type function, uh, open me, whatever you, you don't, don't put open because open is a, uh, is a, um, is a restricted function in JavaScript and it will break your code. So put something other than open. I'll put open me. And inside the button attribute here, just like where we wrote ID and stuff and source, we're going to write on click. And we can do this on any button. It doesn't have to be a, any element. It doesn't have to be a button. And then what we're going to do is when you click it, you're going to call open me. So basically when you click it, it evaluates what's in between the string. Okay. All right, that's it for the JavaScript for right now. Now we have kind of like our, our, our HTML all done, uh, some basic CSS done, and now we're ready for that, uh, those animations.